Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats here in Glen Elder, Kansas. We're also in Republican City, Nebraska, and we're excited to show you the brand new 2024 Lund 202 Pro V GL. Now this, this model is uh, redesigned for this year. They integrated the jump seats, which I'll show you as we get inside the boat, uh, but just an awesome design. It's the perfect boat for the serious tournament uh, fishing guy, the serious fisherman, or the family guy. It's, it's got lots of seating in it. And uh, it's 20 foot, two inches long, so it's just that perfect size. This one's in stock. This is shown in Arctic white with the gun metal, uh, with the raised Lund decals. Um, now we always outfit ours with a 15 Pro kicker. Most guys buying this boat are going to put a kicker motor on it, so we go ahead and include that. This is max horsepower with a 300 Pro four stroke. Uh, they always outfit that with a 19 Tempest, so plenty of power to do any kind of recreational boating or get to your spot if, uh, quickly. Um, trim tabs are another big thing we always include on our fiberglass models now and so that's a big big improvement if you're in in rough water you can kind of level out the weight or it also helps plane the boat out faster as well uh, this is kind of a new design they got a nice three-step ladder here it pulls out so easy way to get in and out of the boat and it's tucked underneath here so it doesn't take up any room on your casting deck of course, they're always going to have the retractable tie downs on the trailer. Um, I think that pretty much covers the outside. Let's get inside here and I'll show you the upgrades. So when you're inside the boat here, the biggest improvement they made is they integrated these jump seats. So on both sides, you have the flip up side uh, seats like they always have had in the Thais and the GLs. Um, but that's a big improvement. It's a really comfortable, nice place to sit for extra people on the go. And that's on both sides. Um, and then of course, underneath them, on this side is taken up with the power steering pump. There's a little bit of storage next to that. But uh, that's your power steering pump. This, this model is always gonna include power steering. Uh, over here is all open storage. So you got some extra storage there underneath the seat. Uh, and you see up on the casting deck, you got two places here for one of these. It comes with four pedestal seats. And so you can move one of these pedestal seats up here to fish off the back casting deck. You can fish off of either side of the motor. Uh, right here in the center is for your ski pole. So anybody that does the recreational uh, skiing or tubing boating. Uh, this is for the ski tow. Uh, really nice size live well. Just a big live well that sits right in between there. And then your main battery compartment for your crank battery and your accessory power, accessory batteries, is right down here in the floor and out of the way. Comes already standard with a with the battery switch. And of course the snap-in marine mat is something we always put with ours. That's this flooring here. This easily snaps out to clean it or, or whatever you want to do there. Now on both sides, starboard and port, you have some storage in the gunnel area here. So the storage has definitely been upgraded. Um, that's on both sides here. We always outfit ours with the sport top. That's what you see here. Uh, if, if you don't want it the the, if, if you're ever out and you don't want the top in your way, just it easily comes right off. You can leave it with the vehicle or, or at home or whatever the case. But it's a nice top, it snaps to the windshield, it works dual purpose for cold weather or warm weather. So we always include that. Um, one other upgrade they've made here is these on-the-go rod tubes. So these both flip down here. And so you can stick your, your uh, rod tips in these hole here and here for on the go. So that's kind of a handy place for if you don't want to put your rods all the way back in the main rod box or your buddy's rods, vice versa. Uh, they did add these doors down here below both consoles. So that's a perfect place if you want to slide some tackle boxes in there, you can. And that's under both sides here. And staying here on the passenger side, the, the, the consoles were all redesigned. And another big improvement they made was with the windshield. A lot stiffer, sturdier windshield they have on this new 202. As you can see here, um, glove box. There is some 12 volt power inside here as well, but a lot of storage there. Cup holder, lots of uh, open storage here. If you if a guy that wanted to put a, another depth finder on this side, you could easily do it. Um, over here on the driver's side, you do have a place down here for like needle nose pliers and stuff like that, your cutters. So that's very handy right next to the cup holder, your main control. Uh, here's the control for the kicker. And all the switches are pretty standard of how they've been, but uh, really easy to get to. All ran off your master power here. You got your live well switches, your light switches, etc. cetera. Uh, we always opt ours with what's called SmartCraft gauges. So that gives you all your readout on the engine as, as far as engine hours and, and uh, battery voltage, et cetera. 
Uh, comes with the Rockford Fosgate stereo and you can Bluetooth that to your phone, a very nice stereo. Uh, the dash, plenty of room up here to install two depth finders. A lot of guys anymore, not all, but a lot of guys will put two depth finders on the dash, so you got lots of room to do that. Uh, <clears throat> your main rod box is right here in the center. Holds up to 15 rods, so a ton of rod storage there. You can see the Skeeto pylon is stowed in there right now. Um, we always include this with the five bank precision Minn Kota charger, so it will charge all the batteries on the boat at once. Up here on the bow, you've got just tons of room up here to to cast your fish off the bow. Of course, you can move a pedestal seat up here. Uh, you also have some more rod tubes for on the go. There's a hole under here on both sides, and this strap here comes up and over to keep them in place. So another really handy on the go uh, rod storage there. Uh, of course, here is the plug-in for your charger. Now this will charge all the, all the batteries in the boat. Here is the bow live well. So you got a second live well on this model just like we've always had on all the Pro V's. Uh, that leaves this for storage. Of course, they are all lockable, but you got a lockable compartment here. So there's a lot of storage up here on the bow. Of course, the big storage compartment is up here on the front. And that's the travel cover. Ours, of course, are always gonna include the travel cover. Let's see. You also have some more storage here in front of the driver's console. So. That's actually really deep. I don't, you can put whatever you can think of in there. And that's going to be on both sides. So a little hidden compartment there, really, really handy. Uh, I think that pretty much covers the 202 Pro V. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, please give us a call. Our phone numbers and emails are on our website, wakandaboats.com. And I'm Terry. Thanks for watching.